Dupit's theory, when uh, the Dupit and Thames had done this research, uh, they had done this research on certain assumptions and certain considerations. So what are the assumptions uh, in Dupit's theory? Let's discuss. <music> First assumption is uh, the velocity of flow is proportional to the tangent of hydraulic gradient instead of a sine. This is the one of the uh, important and one of the particular uh, assumption. The velocity flow is not proportional or is proportional to the tangent of a hydraulic gradient. Next is the Flow is horizontal and uniform everywhere in vertical section. Then, aquifer is homogeneous, isotropic and of infinite aerial extent. Next, the well penetrates and receives water from the entire thickness of the aquifer. The coefficient of permeability is constant at all the places and at all the times. Natural groundwater regime affecting an aquifer remains constant with the time. And flow is laminar as well as Darcy's law is applicable. So here uh, in first assumption, the flow is not had horizontal, especially near the well. Uh, also, the piezometric surface attains greater flow as it approaches the well boundary with the result that this assumption 1 is an approximation. So, see, this all these assumptions uh, they had made, uh, they certainly related to the certain parameter or certain condition. So, these are the assumptions that we had uh, we have to follow while deriving this Dupit's theory or while examining or while studying this Dupit's theory. This uh, Dupit's theory uh, has some limitation also. That is uh, due to this reason, the parabolic form of piezometric surface computed from the Dupit's theory deviates from the observed surface. This deviation is large at the well face, resulting in the formation of seepage phase. In addition to this, the velocity near the well increases and the flow no longer remains laminar. Thus, the Darcy's law equation is not valid near the well face. This is the one of the limitation of the Dupuis theory. If we are saying that the flow is a laminar, but because of this condition, the uh, the velocity near the well it increases uh, because the there is a the, at the well phase there is a resulting in the formation of the seepage phase hence uh, because of this the velocity near the well increases and the no longer remains the laminar hence the Darcy's law which uh, concluded that which had gave us the or which told us that this Darcy's law is valid only for the laminar flow. So, this is not valid near the well phase. So, this is the limitation of a Dupit's theory.